Retiring, knowing that a person is going into a fixed income, but then they put them into a, an adjustable rate mortgage. That's setting people up to fail. A lot of people had been really influenced to do something that they really, really didn't know anything about because their lack of understanding of the real estate business. They got deeper into the situation than they should have. And that's basically what I think happened to her. Somebody probably came and really, really fast talked to her. It put her in a bad position. She had been one of the leaders in the community. My name is Millicent Elizabeth Moore Hill. Mama Hill's Help Inc. is an after-school program for at-risk youth. Out here in South Central, she makes a very big difference to us. It's, it's like heaven up in here. And if this house ever left this block, it would be a tragedy for this community. I had been promised in six months it would be uh, made into a lower interest rate, but now the adjustable uh, part was beginning to be due. I couldn't make that note. Someone from Avila Mortgage called and said, um, do you know you're six months behind and we can foreclose and your house can go to sale within the next week? The children were coming, 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 and I had no money. Reaching out to youth is important because that is our future. And they didn't really ask to come here. If you think about it, they were brought here and then all of a sudden all this stuff hits them. There are starving children, there are children being abused. None of them asked to have that happen to them. So I want to advocate for them and save as many as possible so that uh, they can be comfortable on this planet. That's it. The amount I owe was now 11000 according to Avila Mortgage. I had 9000 I had raised 9000 I offered that to them, asking that they put the rest on the back of the mortgage and do a loan modification. Uh, they refused to do so, and Acorn and I ended up at the courthouse on the auction steps. She was one of those cases that we thought was necessary for us to follow through. And we did, and now she's in the process of getting the home back. Someone has purchased the house. They're in the process of purchasing the house. It should close this week, God willing. And uh, if it does, then I will be able to lease the property and live here and then possibly buy it back uh, at a certain time. And so they're investors, but they're also kind people who didn't have to do this. Right now, we need all the help from the government we can get. We need to make sure that people are not homeless. That's extremely important. If there's any way to keep them in their home, even if they rent it, it's better than having them on the streets. So it's a win-win situation if we can support each other the way Americans always have.